I was at work when I received news about what was happening around the school and first of all I didn't believe it at all because you, you can't really believe what people say unless they have any solid evidence to back up their claims so I decided to go up on the news and that's where I started to read about what was actually happening at school and one of the main reasons why I'm here today is because my brother well, brothers actually come to the school and one of them is on the spectrum so I put myself in the position where if I was that boy's older brother I would definitely want to be here to support want people to know the truth and realize that no kid should be going through that they shouldn't they should have to deal with any of that especially at school where they're supposed to be safe at all times so the fact that the school failed to protect this kid, this is this is very disappointing to hear. Because I also went to the school, and I don't understand why they're lacking now when they succeeded my year. I don't know why they're deciding to fail this year around. And any specific changes you're looking to see uh, based on this protest today? Uh. One thing I'm mainly hoping they do is better security for the kids that are on the spectrum because from what I can see is that this kid was unsupervised and was just, he wasn't taken care of. And that's lack of, I'm part of the school so I'm hoping there's better security, better watch over the kids and just uh, more attention towards the students overall because they are clearly lacking in that. Nancy Cervantes, N-A-N-C-Y, C-E-R-V-A-N-T-E-S. And what brought you out here today? Uh, justice for this kid. Sorry, we'll just wait just a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Justice for a kid that didn't deserve this, um, and for the parent. I, and I believe that every parent should be out here, um, you know, I'm against bullying, so this brought me out here too. Um, and I believe that every, all the kids that were a part of it, sh they need to take uh, some responsibility to what they did. And it's not okay. We gotta stop protecting those that hurt others. And what would you say the main goal is uh, with this protest? What do you? What would you like to see changed? I, I just believe that we need more uh, safety in school. Kids need to feel safe at school. And this kid was brought an arm, uh, a gun to school. So where is the safety? Where? How do I feel safe sending my kids to school, knowing that there's not, they're not, um, my kids aren't safe. Not only that, now there's these kids that are hurting other kids, and they get away with it. They just get to be suspended. Suspended is not enough. Expulsion is not enough either. These kids deserve justice. So that's why I'm here. I'm here for that mom. And you're, you're a parent of a... I'm a parent of a senior here. A senior at Vista. And to be a parent of somebody who's actually attending the school, seeing it, this go around, what did you think when you first saw... Uh, sorry. <laughs> what did you uh, think when you first saw the, um, you know, the incident making its rounds on social media? It's been going on for maybe a week now. Um, yeah. And, and what has changed from then to now for you? From then to now, I've always been really unsafe about this school anyways. So then one day when I came home, two days uh, yesterday when I came home from work and my son was telling me the situation, I couldn't believe it. it he showed me the videos and I still couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, like, where are the teachers? Where is the staff? Where is the safety for these kids? Like, it's just, it, it was, it's a very scary situation to send your kids to school knowing they aren't safe. There's, there's, there's not, they're not safe. What brought you out here today? What are you looking to accomplish here? I want um, the whole situation to be heard because 
I personally heard, just had heard about it and I just think it's unjust that no one is talking about this situation and the way it's all being handled, I think it's unjust and unhumane. This kid went through something so horrible and I don't want him to feel alone because that's very traumatic and I just feel for him and I don't want him to like do anything stupid like be suicidal or anything. I want him to know that we're here for him. I just want him over everything to know that we're here for him and we're gonna fight for his justice and fight for him to have all these people involved punished and the people that are silent to be punished also. And where did you initially hear about this and what was your first reaction? I heard about it from a friend and I was I honestly couldn't believe it. I was like what the heck like how can this even happen in our school? I was I was shook to be honest. And after hearing more details, I was just horrified. And the fact that he was literally walking the same halls oh, wow. yesterday, I literally saw one of the people involved in the video. And I was just disgusted that how is he still walking the halls? And that kid is literally traumatized. And I don't even know if they're doing anything to help him. So, yeah. And what would you like to see happen to the perpetrators? And what would you like to see as far as support for the victim? Honestly, jail time, because this is a serious matter. Um, nothing's going to be able to fix the trauma that kid went through. But I just hope that whatever punishment they are able to get, they get it to the full extent. And that uh, he gets mental help and he knows that we're here for him.